MQ Speed's aims for Batter Mountain this year is to try and attempt to break the Australian land speed record for a human powered vehicle. This currently stands at 119 kilometres an hour and we think with Mach 1 that we have a chance of beating this. So Mach 1 has seen many different design iterations. So we have two main areas that we focus on which are the mechanical and aerodynamic areas and these have to correlate together very very well so it requires a lot of minute iterations between each to end up with the final design. A big reason why these bikes are much quicker than a conventional bicycle is because there's a lot of work that goes into the aerodynamics of it. So uh, Mach 1 has 1 50th of the aerodynamic drag that a normal conventional cycle has. And to put this into perspective, to go the same speeds on a conventional bike that you can on Mach 1, you need to put out 47 kilowatts, which is an unattainable amount for a human. This project culminated in a group of undergraduate students traveling to the USA to compete in the World Human Power Speed Challenge held at Battle Mountain, Nevada. Traveling to the USA provided the students with a cultural experience hosted by international students and academics from California Polytechnic University. We're competing here at Battle Mountain against 25 other international teams from around the world. Um, those teams are coming from Canada, the US, Italy, France, the Netherlands, and Japan. After four years of design, development, and testing, Mac One is ready to compete for the first time. Bike ready. Bike ready. Catches ready. Catches are ready. For me, the biggest highlight of this trip has been seeing the bike come down the road for the first time. That was super exciting. Because of the uh, challenging conditions this morning, it was a bit more challenging to keep the bike upright. I had to really fight the bike to get it down the track. Uh, we had a couple of close calls, but um, overall I'm very happy with the result. While competing, Mach 1 achieved a speed of 89.75 km an hour and placed 12th in an international field of 25 riders on their debut. MQ Speed demonstrates the school's successful approach to teaching through project-based learning, preparing our graduates for challenging careers in engineering.